Raspberry Pi 5 is the first model that utilizes a power button and it also makes it possible to add an external power button. However, more advanced projects require a reliable and effective power on management. Though Raspberry Pi 5's uh, DA9091 power management controller features may be superb to the previous Raspberry Pi models, they may also surprise you. Many who use Raspberry Pi 5 as a desktop computer complain about inadvertent bootings uh, when a power outage occurs. This is uh, quite a big problem because you do not expect your computer to be running when you come from a longer vacation, say a week. It is probably possible to solve this problem in software, but uh, I'm not entirely sure of it. Because uh, operating systems change and uh, it's, it's hard to say whether it's possible to do or not, but it's surely possible to do it very reliably if you make yourself an additional power on management controller. And there is another problem. There is a problem with 3.3 um, volt power delivery rail that's uh, located on um, Raspberry Pi's 40 pin expansion connector. And this one remains powered. This is actually when um, you call shutdown or power off command from your operating system. This is certainly not a good thing if you have audio hat that uh, uses quite a bit of power and it remains powered as if uh, Raspberry Pi was powered as a whole. But of course, uh, there is no ventilator cooling. The hats probably don't need it. And of course, uh, it may be a problem with DA9091 power management controller because all the power goes through this controller. So, uh, of course, your hat is still on and it's drawing power. How to prevent this? Uh, uh, you cannot use, uh, in this case, a shutdown or power off command, but you have to hold down uh, your power on button and then uh, this uh, 3.3 power delivery rain would shut off. But uh, and, we, and if we look at, um, actually, if you look at the precon circuit board, we can see that we have um, actually two contacts for an external power. On button. One is connected to the ground and the other one is connected to 3.3 volts. This voltage is always present even if 3.3 volt rail is powered off. This is actually a sign kind of a proof that this is connected to DA9091 and this is probably one of its inputs connected to some uh, kind of pull-up resistivity because if you press the button this voltage goes to zero and actually uh, DA9091 starts uh, BCM2712 power button partially mimics a classic PC power on button behavior but there are a few differences if you start your PC it's the same you press it it takes about a hundred milliseconds uh, then the A9091 registered that you've pressed your button. Next, if you are going to switch off uh, your Raspberry Pi with a button, then there is a little bit of a difference because you have, if, when you press it for the first time, uh, it should show you a menu from the operating system asking you whether you want to shut down, you want to reboot, uh, whatever uh, their options are, or you want to cancel if you reconsidered. But, uh, of course, if you want to turn it off the hard way, so regardless of the state of the operating system, uh, then you have to press the button for the second time and hold it down for about uh, three seconds or so. And uh, the A9091 uh, uh, power uh, management controller would uh, shut, shut down Raspberry Pi. If you want to know more about how you can make yourself a power on manager, and of course, this manager has also additional features like an electronics lock. Uh, you can uh, also power on your Raspberry Pi remotely or you can also shut it down remotely. All these features are included in this project. So look at PCUSB project channel and click or watch video actually. Wi-Fi lock and power on management manager. Thank you for watching. Press like and subscribe buttons. If you like the video, the next video is coming soon.